today. How a hunk are ya? Welcome to Roverland. This is your friend Dano, and we got a one up Wednesday. Yeah, look at this beauty, huh? Well, uh, I got something to confess. I got two of them, but it's the only one of them that I've got. And there is a special surprise for you. So if you have uh, your phone turned down, go ahead and turn it up because it's going to get real. Yeah, check that out. Yeah, this bugger, she goes. Yeah, she goes good too. That's right. All right, all right. So we're going to take a look at this. Hey, wait, we're not done. Yeah, she lights up and everything. She's got an alarm and she's got moving parts. Can you believe that? Unbelievable. Well, let's take a look at it. One on Wednesday. What are we looking at? We are looking at a, oh, I got it right. Look at there. We are looking at a MSZ. Yes. And I tried to do some looking up of this company, MSZ, made in China. This is the 143rd scale Range Rover, used under license. It takes a couple of batteries there, as you see. We're kind of doing a review of the underneath already. Nice rubber tires, pretty good accurate uh, depiction going under here. A uh, very nice little model. I really like this. I'm uh, kind of excited to have it in my collection. Uh, I got to tell you, I got these off of eBay. Yes, and uh, with shipping, they cost me $10. Yes, I kind of went out. I bought one and I was pleasantly surprised. I bought the other one. I thought it might be a little bit different, but it's not. Uh, and that's okay. That's okay. And uh, I don't know if we can really pick it up, but uh, these are uh, blue in color. Yes, a very nice uh, blue color to them. Very, very nice. I like a pure white interior. Now this one, obviously, you can see the uh, matte coloring is kind of scuffed there a little bit. Uh, this one's a little bit better, but they were shipped like this. Uh, but anyway, back to uh, MSZ, I could not find any information about these guys as a company. Now, um, they are referred to on Google, uh, eBay, Amazon, where you can pick this stuff up. MSZ Vroom Tech, V-R-O-O-M Tech, and uh, Friction uh, Light Sound Effects. And uh, they make more than just Land Rovers or Range Rovers. They also make uh, a lot of sports cars. And the other sports cars that they make have pullback actions. And they all have lights and sound. So, yeah, really kind of cool. Well, let's get into it here. You already know what we got going on here. Uh, beautiful blue lights up in there. Uh, very nice depiction. This is a, a late model uh, a Range Rover. Beautiful. Uh, now this would be the full, uh, the full length one, the full uh, flagship Range Rover. Um, so anyway, let's get back to the front here. Range Rover on the hood. Nice detailing on the grill there. Uh, it's got a little license plate. Got the little badge, the black Land Rover badge. You, you can actually uh, see Land Rover on that. Uh, it's got the modern day uh, LED, what would be lights there. And um, so yeah, very nice. The windshield is uh, very realistic there. It's got uh, wiper blades uh, molded in it, not separate. Now this is a separate piece here. Uh, plastic body, metal base or metal uh, body. Plastic base, excuse me. All right, got door inserts on there. The rear tail lights light up and everything. I mean, it's a it's a pretty pretty nice little uh, unit, if you ask me. 
Not bad for 10 bucks, if you ask me. A uh, little light on the dash there lights up. Now, this is a left hooker. I like the uh, inserts they have here on the door. Has uh, metal uh, side mirrors, painted details on the uh, fish, uh, fish shark gills there. Pretty accurate wheels. Love that. The back door does not open. No glass in the front doors, but at the uh, side doors and the side. It does have the larger uh, sunroof in it with what could possibly be another one. The backup cam and, and security there. Uh, as you see in the back, they're very nice. Uh, once again, some more uh, uh, inserts on the door. Uh, kind of plain Jane in the background there, but uh, not bad. Not bad though. Uh, it doesn't have the, uh, I think, doesn't these have the split or are they a single, single? You know, I don't rightly know, tell you the truth. But uh, yeah, it has the, uh, like I say, I don't know what they call in this, a knife point edge to it. The later model Land Rovers have that. It has the dual exhaust on it. Very nice there. But uh, yeah, just a very nice uh, little uh, representation. Uh, you know, I'm not uh, too totally into. We're going to open this door up. You can see the light there come on for that. And then the lights do flash and everything when you do open the doors to the security system. But uh, beautiful, beautiful interior there. Don't want to get the dogs and uh, muck around there with your uh, wellies on, you know. But, uh, yeah, very nice, very nice. I really like this. Like I say, I did buy them on eBay, uh, I think from kind of like a, uh, they were in the U.S., though. They weren't overseas. Uh, but, yeah, and and uh, like I say, um, you can get these. They mostly do 132nd scale, 134th, and 143rd scale. You can buy these at Target, Costco, Walmart, H-E-B down there in Texas, down south. So they are a company that gets about, they do do more uh, Porsches, a lot of exotic cars and stuff like that. So uh, this particular model does come in blue, uh, lighter blue than this. This is almost a black, but it is a blue, lighter blue, a red and a gold. And uh, I don't have any of those, but these, these boys here are the same exact thing. And, uh, yeah, I thought maybe they might be a little bit different when I got it. And then I ordered another one just for the heck of it, you know, and say, hey, you know, there you go. So very nice, very nice detailing. I like that. Oh, there it is, the Vogue. Yeah, this they, they call this the Vogue, which that is, that's what it is. That's what it is. Suppose we should finish looking around the whole thing, huh? Nice, uh fin there on the back uh, lid there. they got the lines for the rear defrost. Uh, if you folks don't know what that's for, is in Wisconsin, uh, it gets kind of frosty, and so you hit a button in the dash, and these heat up, and then it clears your window, just to let you know. <laughs> All right, smarty pants, cheese balls. We don't need a lesson on defrost, okay now. All right. But just a very nice car, very nice car. All right, well, that's going to be it for a one of Wednesday. I hope you guys really enjoyed this. I did. Uh, it's really kind of a, really kind of a cool car. I, I like these a lot. Um, you know, a bigger die cast, that's, that's pretty cool. But, uh, yeah, we're making the one that doesn't make noise uh, run around. There you go. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I do like to buy things in pairs so I can display them like this. Uh, that's usually how I like to do it, and uh, it's really sharp. All right, that's it. Thanks a lot for joining me today on a one up Wednesday. Make sure that you uh, come over to Roverland on Facebook and Instagram, Roverland channel. Hit the uh, like button. I'm going to give you a thumb here. Give me a big thumbs up on that. Subscribe, tell your friends, share, and as always, slow traffic, keep right. And have a great rover day!